When I was a child, I loved books. Still do, but back in the day, I was willing to read anything that moved. That sounded a little wrong. So it's not surprising that when I was seven or eight years old, I got a whole influx of chicken soup for the soul books, the ones that were aimed at kids through teens. And I loved those books to bit stories about life and love and death and learning. And I just ate it up, because I'm me. But for all the good that they did, one of those stories messed me up for years. Here's basically how it went. One day, I got in a fight with my father. And as I went to bed, I thought, I should tell my father that I love him. But I didn't. And the next day, he was dead. Now, in retrospect, it's pretty clear the moral of the story was be nice to the people you love because you never know what's going to happen. Unfortunately, as friends and total strangers are very quick to point out to me, my brain does not work like most people's. So while I did understand this message of the story, it was not the primary concept I took away from it. Instead, my immediate reaction was, oh my god, the universe is sentient and it's out to teach me a lesson by killing my parents. Yes, years of reading fiction combined with an innocuous children's story had convinced me that the universe operated with a sense of drama like what Alanis Morissette might misidentify as irony. It was a lot like living in my own version of the movie Stranger Than Fiction, only I believe the author was out to get my parents and not me. To be honest, the whole situation was kind of terrifying, but I quickly figured out that I could use it to my advantage. You see, since the universe wanted me not to tell my parents that I loved them before they died so they could make their deaths properly dramatic, all that I had to do was make sure to tell my parents that I loved them every single time we were out to separate, and they'd be effectively immortal. And so that's exactly what I did. Before I went to bed, before I went to school, before my parents went on a business trip, or anything of the sort, I always made sure that I told them that I loved them because that way they would have to survive. Unfortunately, it's that the times that I didn't tell my parents that I loved them, that I was paranoid. There were nights when I lay in bed terrified for hours that the universe was going to take this opportunity to strike down my parents. Luckily, this has mostly worn off over time. However, I still do give concessions to the universe and the powers of drama, which is why the only superstition I adhere to in my life is knocking on wood, because I do believe if you're walking outside during a thunderstorm going, man, this is beautiful, good thing no one ever gets hit by lightning, <laughs> that's just tempting the universe and you kind of deserve what you got. So I guess the moral of the story is that parents, if you want your kids to tell you that they love you all the time, just tell them that story. They might be paranoid for years and years on end, but isn't it really worth it in the long run? <laughs> God, I'm such a weirdo, but it's so much fun! You normals should come over to the weirdo side. Really, we have the best cookies.